Welcome to the Young Crones Cafe, where you can get a magic brew full of all sorts of information, both witchy and practical. Grab a cup of coffee and join us. I'm Elizabeth, a wordsmith. And I'm Dave, a modern day sage. We are going to talk about various witchcraft and life topics from a slightly more mature perspective, at least most of the time. Thanks for joining us. Here's a little something from the Young Crones Cafe to get you through until not your next podcast episode from us. I'm going to talk about adding some little things to your daily routine that are often referred to as daily practices. Many of us get caught up in celebrating the big events like the Sabbaths, the equinoxes, and the cross-quarter times, or those moon celebrations. And while these are important, they are not the be-all and end-all of a spiritual practice. It can be those little things you do every day that remind you that you are a witch who is constantly surrounded by the magic. Daily practices are not meant to be complicated or require you to devote a whole lot of time and energy to them. They are meant to be those little reminders throughout the day that you are working a spiritual practice for yourself. Here are a few suggestions of things you could do. While you're sitting there stirring your coffee in the morning, stir it clockwise if you need something like clarity about a situation, or counterclockwise if you want to push something away from you today, like getting in stuck in traffic again. Take a minute and actually go outside and see what the weather is doing in your world today. We tend to get caught up in living or working where there is heat or air conditioning or controlled environment of some kind. We forget that the world is out there. And while you're at it, take a minute at night if you have the time to just go out and see if you can see the moon and maybe even a few stars. Noticing how it changes throughout its monthly cycle is a good way to develop awareness of the energy of the lunar and maybe think about ways you can work with it later. Take a short walk around your neighborhood and see the plants and animals that are doing their thing while you do yours. Draw a tarot card if that's your thing to get heads up about the potential energy for the day. We use our Witchstones Oracle deck for this because it is all about the seen and unseen energies that can affect our lives. There is nothing wrong with being somewhat prepared for what you may be up against today. Or it may tell you it's going to be a wonderful day. Grab one of those witchcraft books you have stacked up that you've been meaning to read when you have time and bring it with you. Read it for 10 minutes on your lunch break. Not only can you learn something, but it is a great way to shut out the world for a few minutes and get a new perspective. Practice meditation. Many witches do this on a regular basis, and we often feel like we should be developing a practice of meditation. It doesn't have to be for a long time each day, even for five or 10 minutes, it is known to be beneficial. Drink a glass of water. Not only are you hydrating yourself, but taking in a gift from the universe. Take a moment to give thanks for this gift. You may be surprised at how you feel less tired and more focused afterwards. People tend to get dehydrated every day because we don't drink enough water as a society. While you're at it, when you sit down to eat, acknowledge that you've been given a gift from the earth and by extension the divine of the universe. You could create a personal blessing to say. Finally, breathe. Periodically throughout the day, take a moment to take three deep breaths, one for body and one for mind and one for spirit. Not only is it a reminder of what we call our sacred three, but that little pause can even be a reset if you need it. I'm not suggesting that you turn your whole day into a constant ritual or something. Most of us have busy lives and we tend to kick God up in our mundane responsibilities. Daily practices are meant to be those little things we can do to remember the witch within and the magic around us. So don't feel you have to do something all the time. If you think about the suggestions I just talked about, they involve mundane activities, many of which you may already be doing. 
After all, you have to eat and drink every day. We have just added a little bit of witchiness to them. Brainstorm your own list of things that you could enhance this way and see how many you can come up with. You may be surprised at the opportunities to be a little more witchy. And here's the final thought. If you want to start some sort of daily practice for yourself, commit to doing just one thing every day at some point. The best part is that it doesn't even have to be the same thing every day. Just do something when you have a spare minute. Yes, that really is a daily practice routine in itself. You can always start adding other things throughout your day if you choose, so that you are doing things all the time. But that's not necessary. You are always a witch, no matter what you are up to daily. Remember that you aren't allowed to beat yourself up. So if you skip a day, a couple of days, or even a week, it doesn't matter. Finding that personal rhythm of daily practice takes time to get comfortable with, and figuring out what works for you is what we talk about all the time. So try some daily practice things if you want or don't. It's up to you. But if you do, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at Elizabeth at Two Young Crones or Dave at Two Young Crones or join our Patreon and tell us about it in the Discord. So until next time, may you find mirth and reverence in all things. Well, it looks like the coffee cups are empty for this week. We hope you join us again next Tuesday, but you can find us at our website, twoyoungcrones.com. That's the number two, Young Crones. We'd love to have you join our growing online Discord community. Check out our new Patreon presence. Just look for Young Crones Cafe. Through Patreon, you'll be able to make it to our Discord. We are also Young Crones Cafe on Twitter and Facebook. Until then, remember, we are witches who work with energies to affect change. We are believers in both imminent and transcendent divine. We are celebrants of the passage of the solar and lunar cycles. We are hedge walkers who pass back and forth between the worlds of the magical and the mundane. We are seekers of knowledge. And we are walkers of a spiritual tradition we call the path. So mode it be. So mode it be.